everybody and welcome back to our let's play Pokemon Colosseum where we are back at the mystery lab or the so, sorry the uh, shadow Pokemon lab so Eins lab and I quickly because I forgot in the last episode want to show you two items that you can get right here we have uh, three revives that are really nice to have um, definitely want to mention that right here in our let's play and all the way around there's also one pretty obvious right here in the bottom left corner don't know what's in there but we will figure it out in a couple of seconds and then we get back into the lab and uh, come on nope here we go two full heals nice we already have two or three of them but it doesn't matter so uh, I brought pillow swine with me and uh, who else do I have no that's about it because we obviously got rid of artillery and um, now let's just look here. Is there anything special? No, I don't think so. Right. So we quickly go down here. We already faced him, so that's good. And we, of course, got the downstairs key at the end of the last episode, so we can use that here to go on. Hey! Uh, uh, you're not supposed to be in here. Hey, our first Cypher Peon. Uh, four actually are to come. Um, if we're really lucky, you will see all of them in this episode. Because they all have one Shadow Pokemon, and I hope I don't kill them all, like last time with the uh, with those Fury Swipes. I also switched out some items, so Entei is having the Black Glasses now for his Bite Attack, and I gave the Silk Scarf that we found in... Uh, I don't even remember where we found it. Oh, Comet Punch, or Comet Punch, nice. So Lydian, oh yeah, Lydian should actually be purified after this episode, totally forgot about that. Um, Cavania, Entei, go bite on Nusleaf. Um, so yeah, uh, Silk Scarf raising the uh, attack value of normal type moves for Sneasel's Fury Swipes. I mean, he already has the um, stat bonus for his faint attack and I gave the experience share to Soiku because I quickly want to make him uh, elevate to higher levels Nasleaf okay Lydian um, try out that Comet Punch and you go bite again on Carvania nope attack missed damn it yeah, it really would have made sense to maybe even bring someone else, or at least to purify Lady, and I totally forgot about that between those two episodes. But we can do this um, after that episode, because there will, I guess, be one more episode after this one before we face um, Cypher Admin Ein. There are just too many trainers in this lab, <laughs> unfortunately. So um, here is Hondur, nice, level 38. Lydian, give me a Shadow Rush. And you just go stomp on that. N uh, you know what? Just go Fire Blast. Because I know it's a plant type. That's pretty obvious. And um, I guess that should kill. Ouch. Faint Attack. There we go. Could you stop hitting on my legendaries all the time? It's like... Nice. There we go. And you're done. As soon as we know Flamethrower, Entei is so much better. Simply because uh, Fire Blast doesn't hit too often and we only have 5 AP. So yeah. I mean, it's kind of an overpowered move. But if it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit. You know, so. <laughs> Lydian, um... Murkrow is our shadow Pokemon right here, so how about a supersonic for Murkrow? And we'll just go stomp on that Houndour. Oh, he knows fly! Awesome! Ooh. Ouch. Entei isn't looking too good. I think I'm gonna go for a hyper potion here. Stomp that bitch! Amps. Nice! <laughs> nice! Hente! 
Really good. And Lydian is in hyper mode, so we should just go for Shadow Rush. I mean, we don't need to call for him. Um, I hope he isn't faster than Murkrow, but he shouldn't be. So I go Supersonic again first, and then I quickly want to find a potion for Entei. Yes, one hyper potion left. Nice. And Murkrow uses Fly. Oh, it's a bug type Pokemon. Damn it. Sorry, Lydian, you have to go. So here is Pillow Swine. Ice ground type Pokemon. I know it doesn't make that much sense. If he goes for a fly again, I'm probably gonna leave and swap him out. Oh, that seems to be quite a quickie when it comes to uh, purifying. So what am I supposed to do? I mean, I, ooh, it's really scary. I don't want to kill him again. Um, yeah, I'll just try one bite. Oh, and he flew up. Great. Unfortunately, Pillow Swine didn't enter hyper mode. So, he should be going for Pillow Swine because it would be super effective. Um, so, I'm gonna swap out here again and go for Yanma, who needs to be purified as well. And I'm gonna go one more bite for Murkrow. Yeah, I guess so. I guess Yanma still knows um, Supersonic, so that should... Oh, he's actually going for Entei. So we, we need to find some chance to... He obviously uses Fly way too often, so we need to... Ooh, not very effective, nice. Uh, we need to find one chance to actually deal... Um, or to make him hit himself <laughs> at some stage. So we can take him down slower. Aw, and he flies up again. God damn it. You're really annoying, you know that? Speed boost, great. Trying to be the quickest on the field again, our Yanma, who is back flying type, so actually we should be fine. But I mean, let me quickly check that. I don't want to look. Yeah, back flying, okay. So uh, we'll see about that. Um, I'll just stay with those two and do exactly what I did again uh, before. Oh, now he's quicker because of his speed boost, of course. <laughs> nice! Attack missed, and this bite should hit. That is good, so we can hit the supersonic now, as we know that we're definitely faster, especially after that second speed boost right here. Supersonic, and I'm not gonna... Ooh, should I... It's kind of a big deal to risk another... No. Not gonna do it. Um, I'm just gonna go for Soikun. No, I'm just gonna go for Sneasel here to uh, sort of buy me some time. Because otherwise, I will kill. I can already see that. Mokro flew up high. Nice. So we were obviously slower. That is bad. I'm just gonna go Shadow Rush with Yanma because he's so much under level that shouldn't be too bad. And go Icy Wind here. Of course, now we're faster. Of course, yeah, we're both faster. Nice. Or is it just because Fly has a higher um, priority? That might be the case. Totally forgot about that. Nice, Yanma is down. And we go Pillow Swine, who actually has um, Soft Sand to strengthen ground type attacks, but I switched that out and I gave him Quick Claw for obvious reasons because he should be really, really slow. Oh no, 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 hang on. That. Ooh. Uh, I'll just risk it. Um, I'll just go Ultra Ball here, and then 
Uh, maybe... Well, Fury Swipes will kill. Pretty sure about that. Maybe Faint Attack, because it's not really effective against Murkrow, as he's a Dark-type Pokémon himself, so... Or maybe he even stays in that ball, that would be awesome. Ah! Okay, doesn't matter. Great, so now I at least know one attack to take him down slowly. What does happen if I throw a ball now? Can I actually throw one? Or I'll just go timer ball? I mean, it's, no, it's not that long of a battle right now, so one more ultra ball right here. And Sneasel go one more faint attack. We can actually do that. I didn't know that, to be honest. <laughs> now he's back on the ground. Sorry. Your fly's over. Oh, your flight. Ooh, that one looked like it was securely snagged. And now he's back up in the air. Nice. That will miss, of course. Damn it, Murkrow. You're really, really annoying. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Um... I'm gonna swap out, because I don't want to throw again as long as I can still deal damage. Swap out for Soikun, and now I'm gonna go Faint Attack, and hopefully I go first. Hopefully. I should be faster. Yes, nice. So that's good. Please don't kill. Nice. And now he uses Shadow Rush. Please don't kill yourself. Okay, yeah, I can live with that. As long as he doesn't keep doing that. I'll just offer him Pillow Swine for another fly attack, so to speak. And um, we're gonna... No. We're just gonna throw the next Ultra Ball here, because now he should be easy to catch. Yep, and because I need to do anything with Pillars 1, I will just swap him out. Throw! Throw that snack ball, and please just stay in there. Please. I mean... What? <laughs> Great. Don't want to do any fast forwarding here, actually, but looks like... Uh, Yeah, it looks like we actually have to do. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go... Next Ultra Ball, because we have to. And after that I'm probably gonna try one Timer Ball. And I'm gonna use... Sunny Day here for no obvious reason, because I don't wanna swap out again. It's just bullshit. <laughs> Murkrow. Come on. Nice! Finally, Murkrow was caught. That's good. You might be young, but you know what you're doing. Yeah, definitely. So there we are, guys, back again. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't save and heal within this uh, stage, so we're just gonna go on like this. Let's see how far we actually get. I don't want to um, interrupt this battle anymore. Let's quickly go in here. What's blinking there? We found one DNA sample. Nice. I've been hired to tend to Pokemon, so that's what I've been doing this whole time. Were your folks wanting a Pokemon too? Uh, yes. Is that so? Oh, it's a shame, but they're all gone. They've all been taken away somewhere, every last one. Oh, that's bad. Okay. <laughs> so we'll just go on down here. Can't save here. There we are. It's off limits beyond here. Next Shadow Pokemon for us, Cypherpion Vena, who has a Swablu, a Zubat, a Pupitar, and a Fortress. Or Fortress. Fortress? <laughs> I don't know. 
so... Oh, Jesus Christ, there are so many battles in here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's just see how we go with this one. Entei, um, use Bite on Swablu. And Soikun, you just go Surf. Oh, actually, we can go Aurora Beam on Swablu and you should be done. I guess, yeah. No, he's not. So he will be after this bite. <laughs> Here is... Oh, there's already Fortress. Yeah, I know it's a Shadow Pokemon. She also has a level 40 Pupita, so we will see that later. And I should be able to go for a Surf without dealing too much damage to um, Fortress. Entei, uh, how about a Stomp on Zubat? And like I said, I'm gonna go Surf just to see how much damage I actually deal. Nice, so Zubat is down and Fortress can take another one after this to hopefully one hit Pupita at the same time and Zubat is down. One of the most annoying calls by any Pokemon ever, as we all remember from the very first generation, Mount Moon. Oh, Dealing damage to himself, do we? Nice. Okay, um, like I said, oh, okay, maybe I should go for the next potion here. Max potion. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we only have two, but we only have Pillars 1 left otherwise, so. <laughs> and now we want to go uh, Surf again to, like I said, hopefully take down that Pupitar. And then we should be able to start throwing balls for... Nice! For Fortress, so maybe this is a really quick battle. Totally didn't see that coming. Shadow Rush, he keeps on hitting himself or dealing damage to himself, which is good. Can I go for another... Oh, his defense should be high enough to deal with a stomp, I guess. And... Maybe I'll just buy myself some time and start switching out here, or shifting out. Please survive that stomp, please. He should. His defense should be really awesome as far as I remember. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's ridiculously high. Shadow Rush. Nice. Dealing even more damage to yourself. Well, we can do better than that. But, um, yeah, we'll still go for the first Ultra Ball here. Oh, actually, hang on, is it a... That should be a Water-type Pokémon, so maybe we just try a Net Ball. Yeah, why not, and switch out Pillar Swine for Soikun here. Snack Ball! Didn't even think about that at first stage. Come on, just stay in there. Awesome! Well, that was... That was really quick. That was... Amazingly quick. So, we're good to go here. And maybe even take on one more Cypher Peon for the end of this episode, so we get at least three Pokemon. There he is. Welcome to the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Rhyhorn, Grovile, and Shadow Ariados. Actually, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Rhyhorn will go down with a Surf. Um, Ariados should be able to live with that Surf, 
I hope. And his Grovile should easily go down to a Fire Blast of Entei. Yeah, no, Ariados. Level 43 Shadow Pokemon right here. Nice. Entei, um, just go... Maybe... Stomp on uh, Rhyhorn, and I want to be careful with Ariados, so that Surf will of course hit first. And I guess Rhyhorn, yeah, he already fainted. Bams. Nice, okay. So it's not looking too bad, and he will quickly get out the next Pokemon. Level 44 for Soikun. 150 HP, nice. So there's Grovile. Could have predicted that and just go for the uh, Fire Blast here. That would have made everything much easier, but Stomp, as we can see, is also pretty good attack. <laughs> Sludge Bomb, yeah, that's the biggest problem about Ariados right here. Entei fainted. Oh. Could be a tough battle, guys. Pillar Swine, please hold in there. Somehow. I don't know. Please. <laughs> Okay, uh, shit. We quickly need to get rid of that Grovile because otherwise we're gonna be screwed. Um, and Aurora Beam should be super effective because it's a plant type Pokemon. So that should kill. Nice. Totally forgot about that when I lost Entei. <coughs> and Pillow Swine entered Hyper Mode. That's alright. Sludge Bomb, please not another critical, please. Oh, great. Okay, we don't have that much time as we can see. And we're <laughs> nice, we're poisoned, lovely. Oh my god, okay. Um, so he's obviously not gonna go for any Shadow Rush, so I'm just gonna go for a critical here and hope I don't kill. I don't think so. And I will quickly... Um, use one of those full heals here for Soikun. Just in case the battle takes longer than expected. Please don't kill Pillow Swine, please. Nice! Nice! So now I dare you, you go for that Shadow Rush. I dare you. Okay, so we have to be quickly here. Quite obvious, because otherwise we will... Oh, what? Ah, come on. Seriously. Okay, um, I'm gonna throw the first... Actually, that's a buck type, so we can go for another netball. I mean, we have to get rid of them at some stage anyway. So, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna use another full heal here. I mean, if we don't survive the next attack and he doesn't stay in that netball, we might be screwed, but hopefully he does because it can't get any better than that. And that would have been the second really nice battle here. Please. Awesome, guys. That was that was better than expected. Way better than expected. Nice. So, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Catastrophically strong. Yeah, I know. So now we should be able within the next episode to get to uh, Ain. And with that, I just want to say already, thanks again for watching. It might have been a bit longer than expected, this episode. So uh, give me a thumbs up if you still like the Let's Play. Uh, awesome catch rate right here, or capture rate right here. And um, click next to the last episode to see the rest of the Let's Play. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. And with that, I will see you next time here on Pokemon Colosseum. Bye, guys.